Yo, what's good? We back. Triple P, Paul Pickett Podcast. Trying to ramp up these podcasts. Trying to do them two, three, four times, maybe five times a week. Also got to do my vlogs. So it's going to be... It's going to be a lot of work, but we're going to get it done. Um, before we get started, hit that subscribe button that click now in the corner. If you're on Facebook or Instagram, hit the follow. Don't forget the audio version goes to Spotify, Apple, Deezer, um, Slacker, iHeart, TuneIn Radio, and a dozen other platforms as well. Um, I don't really got no NFL to really talk about. Everything's really pretty much the same. Everything's copacetic, but we're going to get into the NBA playoffs. Um, uh, tonight we got Clippers and Suns. Game uh, five. And I think the Suns finish it tonight. The Suns punch their ticket into the NBA Finals. Second time since in my lifetime. Um, first time since Charles Barkley and the crew took them. And... Um, Sons, can they? I mean, it. I ain't gonna lie, man. Chris Paul being a native North Carolinian, I would be happy to see him win this championship. I really would. I'd be happy, uh, be well deserved. Um, it help. It would help solidify his career for a guy that's been a great floor general, a great point guard in the NBA. Um, Chris Paul's been a winner everywhere he's went. Wake Forest, New Orleans Pelicans, Clippers, Houston, Oklahoma City. When they were supposed to be tank, Oklahoma City was supposed to be tanking, and Chris Paul's like, "Nah, I don't think so. Not gonna be able to do it." Double X Posse for all y'all old schoolers that don't know. Not gonna be able to do it. No tanking on Chris Paul's behalf. Not gonna be able to do it. So, yeah, I'm going to say the Suns punch their ticket in tonight against the Clippers. And if the Clippers, even if the Clippers win this game, I mean, they're only just, you know, they're only extending the series because they're still, Clippers ain't coming back from 3 1 without Kawhi Leonard. No chances. No chances whatsoever. Not coming back from 3 1 without Kawhi Leonard. Uh, let's get to the East. The Hawks lost to the, the Bucks. The Bucks are actually up. Um, 2-1 on the series. It's 2-1. So the Hawks won the first game. Bucks won the second. And they won the third. Um, I'm going to say that Trey Young doesn't get injured last game. Bucks don't win that game. So the Hawks got to feel very good and very confident about themselves. Trey Young don't get hurt. The Bucks don't win that game. Trey Young comes back healthy. They can win this game. Trey Young is hurt next game. It's over. And it might be over for the Hawks anyways, but like, the Hawks, I mean, even if the Hawks get no further, no further, I mean, this this season was a total absolute success. Total absolute success. Um, like, they totally exceeded the expectations for this Hawks team. I think, like, most people, most people didn't even have the Hawks getting out the first round, you know, and I said they were over – they were like underselling the Hawks and over uh, rating the, the Knicks. Then they uh, definitely had them get demolished in the second round. At the most, people probably was like, they will, they'll get no further in the second round. I mean, the Hawks in the Eastern Conference Finals, you know, and the Hawks win next game. I mean, they got to feel confident that they could go to the finals. The Hawks got to feel confident about next year, anyways. Um, if the Bucks win this series, which they probably will, I'm going to say the Bucks are going to beat the Suns in the NBA Finals. I don't think Phoenix is big enough to go against Milwaukee. And Milwaukee, Phoenix, is, I mean, they both got kind of a big three because DeAndre Ayton is balling out. And I'm going to get into that in a minute, um, this whole DeAndre Ayton thing, because the Kings, I mean – you know, yeah, DeAndre went to the Suns, but the Kings screwed up because they could have had Luka Doncic or Trey Young. They could have had either one of those guys. I mean, if you gotta you gotta trade out De'Aaron Fox somewhere else, or you gotta move him to two guard, so be it. Because De'Aaron Fox ain't better than Trey Young. You know, 
So I got the Bucks beating the Suns in the finals and they go to the finals. I just think the Bucks experience them playing together longer as a most of the core. Um the fact that Giannis is a back to back MVP and he's super I mean I know Chris Paul is hungry, but I'm gonna take the big guy over the little guy any day. The big superstar over the little superstar any day. Especially when it's a back to back MVP like Giannis. And Chris Paul. I don't know that Chris Paul's even won an MVP. I gotta check. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't know that Chris Paul's won MVP. So I got the Bucks beating the Suns if the Bucks go. And if the Hawks go against the Suns, I probably got the Suns beating the Hawks. Because of Chris Paul's experience over Trey Young. Let me get into this. Kings. Kings are like Kings totally screwed up. I mean, because you got DeAndre, number one. Marvin Bagley went number two to the Kings. I mean, Marvin Bagley is not panning out. And I don't see a chain of, change of scenery make like really doing that much justice for Marvin Bagley. It's not the problem that Marvin Bagley's not getting enough touches and nothing like that. It's Marvin Bagley's probably doesn't space the floor good enough. He's not a good of a defender. Um, he's not as dominant as he was in college. I'm at, we got to stop acting like just because you dominate college that you're going to dominate the pros. I've seen plenty of guys dominate college. The greatest college players – the great most of the greatest college players are the worst pro players. But they really are. Jimmer Fredette. Tyler Hansborough from North Carolina Tar Heels. Tyler Hansborough was all American a freshman, sophomore, junior, and a senior. He could have left pro early, but Carolina dudes usually stay longer. But he didn't amount to much in the pros. You know, Harrison Barnes is the number one pick in high school. He was all right in college. You know, he was a lot better in college than he was in pros, I can tell you that. Adam Morrison. Adam Morrison was great in college. Didn't do squat in pros. You know, almost everybody from the 2002 uh, Tar Heels Championship was balling out in college and didn't do some of those dudes were out the league in one or two years. Sean May was, wasn't even in the league, but maybe two or three years. Rashad McCants. I mean, come on, man. This idea that you dominate college, you're going to dominate pros is bogus. You know, it's a whole different level, man. It's a whole different, <laughs> a whole different game, man. You know? So yeah, the Kings, man, like the Kings messed up. Cause they could, they could have, they could have De'Aaron Fox and Luca. Then if you got to trade out Daryl Fox to get Luca, so Luca got a ball more in his hand, then that's what you do. Because De'Aaron Fox, no disrespect to De'Aaron Fox. I like him. Good, you know, good young man, you know, decent human being. Great, great kid, you know. All-star caliber point guard. Great human being. Good, good kid, you know what I'm saying? Very decent person. I ain't saying that. What I'm saying is, is he's not Luka Doncic and he ain't Trey Young. And these guys, uh, they're a little bit younger and they're just proving that they can carry a team and help a team win now so much better. LaMelo Ball, LaMelo Ball is better than De'Aaron Fox. LaMelo Ball is helping this team win more now, right now. LaMelo Ball is over De'Aaron Fox. No disrespect to De'Aaron Fox, but... You know, he, he, some of these point guards are more two guards, anyways. They're more like scoring guards. And he might be that. He might be more of the scoring guard and let somebody else, like Tyrese Halliburton, be the point guard. And that's the thing. Tyrese Halliburton is balling out. So, as rookie, he was the third, uh, third best rookie this year. So, he's going to be, definitely be getting a lot of PT here soon, you know, and have the ball in his hands a lot more as well. You know, it's like Damon Lillard. I think he's more of a two guard than he is a point guard. He might need more of a like a Mike Conley guard with him, a guy that's going to facilitate all the time. Because Damian Lillard could play off the ball. He could do whatever. He's like, you know, one of those guys. He's like Durant, LeBron. He's, you know, Steph Curry. Like the great – all the great guys, all the great players, they could play on the ball, off the ball. 
James Harden can play on the ball or off the ball. It really don't matter, even though he's better on the ball. But so, yeah, um, Suns probably wrap it up tonight, punch their ticket to the finals. Um, if they win it in one year, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. You know, Chris Paul instantly gets that team to the finals. Um, let's see. Hawks play tomorrow. Um, depending on – like, I don't think Trey Young's going – his ankle's going to be too well. So, I got the the Hawks definitely losing. Bucks punching their ticket to the finals. Bucks versus Suns. I got the Bucks winning in six or seven. Bucks winning in six or seven. Giannis punching his ticket for his first NBA Finals appearance and his first NBA championship. Winning his finals MVP. It pretty much solidified his career because he might not win another championship after that because the Nets going to be tough next year. The Hawks will be better. You know, um, watch out for Miami to make some moves. You know, the landscape will change. So I got Giannis solidifying it this year. Winning the championship, winning the finals MVP. He'll be a two-time back um, MVP, regular season MVP, a finals MVP, and a champion. Solidify his career to the Hall of Fame as one of the greatest small forwards ever. Probably the fourth or fifth best small forward ever behind. If Giannis was a championship this year, I'm probably going to say he's probably the, the fourth best small forward ever behind LeBron, Bird, and Pippen. Yeah. He punches his ticket as champion this year. I'm gonna say he's the he's the the fourth best small forward of all time, fourth greatest small forward of all time, and um, Chris Paul punches his ticket and wins the championship. He's already the fifth great, probably a lot of people consider him the fifth greatest point guard of all time, and he'll definitely punch his ticket and as the fifth greatest point guard of all time, if not the fourth greatest. Yep. So, um, once again, this is the Triple P Paul Pinker Podcast. I want y'all hit that subscribe button in that right-hand corner. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, Instagram, hit that follow. Um, don't forget the audio version goes to Spotify, Amazon, Deezer, Slacker, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and a dozen other platforms. You can Google Paul Pinker Podcast. You see the name behind me. Don't forget to check out my website. It's promopalace.biz if you need online marketing promotions. If you need apparel, go to newlitter.com for New Litter Apparel for all dog lovers. We got the dog base t shirts and hoodies, and we got stuff for your dogs as well. And don't forget to check out um, the Dizzle brand. I'm going to stand up, show y'all, t- show y'all the t shirt. See the Dizzle right here? It's the Dizzle brand. It's a uh, new liquor on the market. Um, check it out, dizzlebrand.com. You can also follow them on all social medias, the Dizzle brand. And um, that's how we do, man. Triple P, Paul Pickett Podcast. And I want to thank y'all once again tuning in.